Okay, what's up guys? So in this video we're going to be looking at tearing this old decking steps down so and uh, putting up new stuff there. for with the composite that matches the decking I've got. It should be fairly simple because I'm literally just replacing the actual treads and everything. But I've got a lot to clear off first, so let's get to it. So, as I feared, because there was a step here, so I know what it's like, all of these have all just broken off on me. Which means I now have to figure out how the hell to get these off. I may have an idea. Okay, so I know that this looks absolutely shocking, um, but it doesn't need to look pretty because it's going to be hidden underneath the deck. Because this is literally just going to be storage for all of these off cut and broken ones that are going to be there. Eventually, there's going to be a shed straight up to the deck stairs anyway. So, this side, it's just completely irrelevant. Um, that's why I haven't done it properly. I haven't bought brand new slabs. I haven't patted it properly because it's just going to be hidden underneath. So, it doesn't matter. So let's carry on with the rest of it. So I've been cutting these little recesses out in order to accommodate the bolts. I'm hoping I've got them in the right place. I did measure a few times, but I'm not sure. So I won't actually know until it's in there. And then I can attach that to that.
So this is where I expected to be when I started ripping this out. I hoped I could just rip those top boards off and then replace them, but the whole frame, entire frame is rotten. Uh, I had to replace those two stringers. That one I'd like to have replaced, but it's concreted in, so there's not a lot I can do about it. But I'm finally at the stage now where I can start putting the composite back, the composite on, so then it will match all my deck up here. Um, I should have had this done a lot long time ago, but having it rotted really set me back because I then had to deal with everything underneath here as well, which I'd hidden and forgotten about. So at least now I can crack on and get to it. The way that this works is it's got um, this little groove on the, right, on the side there which uh, fit these clips and then they fit in like that and then you screw down and they interlock together like that way. You don't get a massive gap between each board and uh, you don't see screws and things and as long as you don't um, overload the board with clips they look really good together actually. Okay, so I know that these fit along those treads for the um, back part of the stairs uh, in one piece, which means it will be going along like that. Um, spoke to uh, the woman in charge, and what we're going to do is we're going to do it up like this. Sorry, we're going to do it like this. Now, I have to cut this board anyway, and she doesn't want it looking like this, she wants it like that. So what that means is I have to rip these ones down as well as these, um, which is fine because it's doable on here, it's not a problem at all. But I've got to take this width off of that. So by putting it like that, I know I can mark a line there, 
put it through the table saw like that and it's no problem at all. There we are, all finished. It was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I couldn't believe I had to rip out the entire subframe, but that's just how life is sometimes. I've still got to finish all the front bit here. So initially my plan was to put a shed here. Don't know whether I'm going to do that at the moment, but I will probably try and cover these bare wood joints at some point. But I'm quite happy how it turned out. It was uh, interesting to say the least, but these composite boards are brilliant. It now matches with everything else that I've got and they do look amazing and they'll hold up and the bo bonus is no sanding no staining no refinishing which is what i wanted so ease of life so even though they're more expensive i do recommend it a lot so i'll catch you on the next video hey guys if you like that one check out the other videos i've got lined up for you here hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can get notifications every time i post a new video and thank you very much for watching